Hello, folks. Thank you so much again for being here and joining us for the first of our 2024 Library Now drop-in series. My name is Hannah Bendixson. I work for Education and Outreach Services here at the Milwaukee Public Library, and we are bringing you Library Now plug and plays for the new year. So we hope that we'll be starting the new year off with some new Library Now inspiration, talking about how you can use Library Now digital resources for plug and plays to either kick off or conclude a class or as permission to get all the willies out. Um, so in 10 minutes or less, how you can really harness Library Now visual and auditory content to create fun warm-ups, short lessons, brain breaks um, for you and your students. As is customary, we will finish our time here together today with time for Q&A and any troubleshooting needs that you have. If this is your first time to the world of Library Now, I'll provide a brief overview. First and foremost, welcome. In a snapshot, Library Now is an easy to use website for students and educators to access free digital resources through the Milwaukee Public Library. Um, they're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they have both academic and recreational benefits for you and your students. So first and foremost, Library Now is a website. So you'll see the URL up there, librarynow.org, and we'll do a fair amount of showing and telling in our drop-in here today. Um, and the second key component of Library Now is how you go about accessing the digital resources um, that are available to you and your students. So all physical MPL library card holders have access to these same digital resources but we wanted to create a streamlined interface um, for you and your students to access these resources that are the best hit resources, even if you and your students don't all have a physical library card. So when we partner with a Library Now Partner School, we um, go about creating unique login conventions for your students so that you can walk into the classroom and know that every single one of your students enrolled at a Library Now Partner School has um, Library Now access, access to these free digital resources. So if you are joining us from the Milwaukee Public School System, for instance, your students are going to be using their six or seven digit S number minus the S for their username, aka barcode, and they will use their four digit birth year as their PIN. If you are joining us from one of our other Library Now partner schools or networks, and you want a refresher as to what your convention is for your students, um, my lovely colleague Jenny, who's manning the chat, is happy to provide a refresher for you. Um, but in a nutshell, that is how you are going to get into Library Now. You will go to librarynow.org, select a resource, and then you will log in utilizing your digital library card, your student's digital library card login conventions. Without further ado, let's get to the topic of the day, our library now plug and plays. Um, so what is a plug and play? This is really something that is meant um, to help your students make connections between library now resources and functionalities. Maybe you have attended one of our library now educator trainings, or maybe you've introduced library now as a whole in your classroom. And we really um, see an emerging need and interest in helping students grow in automaticity and autonomy, confidence in exploring Exploring library now, not only during class, um, but on their own. So bridging that gap between what is happening in the classroom if you're utilizing library now and students feeling empowered and curious to continue to explore library now in um, over the weekend, over winter break, over summer break. Um, and then what can you as an educator do help students to connect that library now um, is, is for them to enjoy and for them to discover and explore on their own. And we're excited to make Library Now fun today by helping you build that, that muscle memory in your students through some of these plug and play options. Plug and plays are also amazing ways to engage your students' creativity, to provide time for individual work or collaboration, to embrace the hype of students, um, to either start, finish, or, or split up the content in a class. Um, so we hope that you'll be excited by some of the formats that we'll provide for you today. Today, our menu of Library Now Brain Breaks and Plug and Plays um, features bingo, trivia, three different scavenger hunt templates, and then a few different visual and auditory, um, as well as movement-based activities that you can use. After the session, we will send out the templates of all of these resources for you. We will also be uploading these on the educator tab of Library Now as well. And you can always email us if you want additional ideas and activities like this um, to help integrate Library Now for your students um, in a more autonomous, creative, plug and play way. 
So the first format that I will be introducing today is Library Now Bingo. Um, who doesn't love good round of bingo? Um, this is what our template looks like. And so you can go for row or column bingo. If you're at all familiar with bingo, you can go for blackout bingo. Um, our templates are all customizable. So you could either choose to focus on kids resources, teens resources, um, even educator resource if you wanted to do your own kind of homegrown professional development for your team and exploring library now resources. Um, but in exploring library now, you as the uh, bingo facilitator will ask questions that will prompt your students to be able to identify which resources have which functionalities. Before we continue, it's of course important to show you um, what Library Now looks like and where this content is coming from, so especially if it's your first time to Library Now Welcome. We have resources set up for kids, for teens, for educators. Since educators are predominantly the audience members for these sessions, we hope you, you will go back and explore the educator tab. But since this content has been put together for brain breaks for young people, we'll spend our time today looking at resources featured in both kids and teens. If it's your first time here today, know that we um, are compartmentalizing content for ease of personal exploration. Each of these little eye icons We'll give your students a refresher kind of elevator pitch of what each of these resources has to offer. And as you will see, as we go through our bingo scavenger hunt trivia templates, um, that students, once they log into library now are going to be able to answer the questions in those various formats by coming onto this homepage and saying, hmm, I wonder what Overdrive is. I wonder what BrainFuse is. I wonder which of the language apps has this language. Let me click into it and explore. So know that all of the content that is kind of filling in the templates that I'm gonna show you today come from either the kids or the teens tab, and you are going to be able to customize the templates as you see fit, depending on how short or long you want it to be, whether you're working with elementary school students, middle or high school students, um, or your colleagues. All right, moving back to our presentation here, now you can see where these digital resources have come from. So um, I provided logos here for your students to have a visual indicator of where they could start. Um, but an example of a, a facilitator question could be, um, where can I learn to code? and the students would explore, ultimately realize, aha, I've got scratch on my bingo card. And then they'd mark this as is typical in bingo. Or where can I get free tutoring from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. every single day? And they would be able to mark brain views on their bingo sheet. Next up, very similar, equally beloved pastime of many children and teens and adults alike. We also have a slide deck of Library Now trivia that we can share out with you and we'll be including on the educator um, homepage as well. So trivia, very similar to bingo. You can do either individually or as a team. That's an example of how you could set up teams and you will prompt your students with a question Usually the question gives an indicator of the functionality, which is also advertising what students can utilize library now for, and then letting them kind of discover what resource corresponds to that functionality. So you could ask your students individually or working as teams to identify which library now resource has American Sign Language. And then by exploration, they would learn, aha, it's pronunciator. Um, which is one of our two language learning apps and the only language learning um, platform on Library Now that features American Sign Language. I love any opportunity to use the confetti feature. So uh, feel free to use the features of this, uh, enable the features of this PowerPoint as well. Round two, you could ask them, I want to take a course in game development. Which Library Now resource can I use? And by exploring, they could find that that is in fact, Gale courses um, where they could take a course in game development. Third, we also have three different um, scavenger hunt templates that have different usages. First um, version, this one is, is um, curated for kids in particular, is very akin to bingo and trivia, prompting students with questions that hint at functionality, like where can I access free music? Where can I play games while learning to type? Um, 
Where can I go for online tutoring? Where can I create my own game? Um, and then having the students fill in the corresponding answer, but this of course in a handout version um, can be more independent work, um, allowing students to go at their own pace rather than bingo and trivia, I think, are for the more competitive spirits among us. So this is the first template that we have available. We also have a phase two and a phase three scavenger hunt to really show the, the deepening of Library Now resource knowledge and a personalization. So under the Library Now for You scavenger hunt template, um, we prompt students to try out the below resources and find their favorite features. So really to think about what am I as an individual going to use Typing Club or Overdrive or Mango for? And this is something that they can also share out with an elbow partner. So if they go onto Typing Club and find an interactive story that they love, or they go onto Mango Languages and they learn a new word in a language of their choice, then they're going to be able to share that out with the class or with a peer. And we ultimately hope here at MPL, both in the realm of literacy and really in all of our digital resource utilization, that students are learning that these resources are for them in their interests. And that there sometimes is a right answer in the case of bingo trivia and that first round of scavenger hunt, but also that, that oftentimes the reward is just seeing how students interpret questions like this seeing how they navigate overdrive and find a title that they're really excited about and share out on that um, and letting them fill this out in a million different personalized ways to realize that MPL resources are for them and for that personalization and curation depending on what they're excited about. And last but not least, um, library now takeaways and questions. This scavenger hunt format is a way for you as an educator to gauge uh, what are the emerging questions, curiosities, and kind of areas of growth for your students. So you can prompt them at the end of a library now lesson or a library now activity or the first two rounds of this scavenger hunt or in conjunction with another game um, with what resource have you not used yet? What resource do you have more questions about? And um, which is in the lower right hand corner. And then as we are always trying to make the connection from library now in the classroom to library now at home, the upper right hand quadrant and the lower left hand quadrant are also meant to do that. So prompting students to think about what library now resource can I use at home or will I use at home? Or what library now resource can I utilize to work on my homework? So making sure that we are helping students understand that library now has both academic um, outcomes, if you will, academic promise and invitations to um, building out their skill set and seeking help and tutoring and, and doing research, what have you, but also the library now is fun. They can check out books at home, they can play games at home, um, they can use all of these resources at home. Uh, so then you can take a pulse on what are people generally excited about and what are resources that students uh, have yet to explore. And you can always reach out and let us know what those are too, so that we have a sense of our emerging audience as well. And we also have some fun visual, auditory, and movement-based um, brain breaks. Now, these are utilizing Library Now resources to create an activity for your students. So the first of these utilizes one of our two digital um, collections, Overdrive. So you could, with your students, have them go to Library Now, um, have them utilize their Library Now login conventions, their S number, and their four-digit birth year to authenticate and to log into Overdrive. And then for the visual representation, they can choose a favorite book cover and recreate it somehow. This could be an illustration. This could be origami. It could be using um, styrofoam cups and uh, materials that you have on hand and glue and glitter. And we really like to say that really anything can be a gateway in the, in the realm of literacy. So even if you're working with younger students, and they pick the cover of a book that is above their reading level, you can still engage them at the kind of early seeds of, of what that story is. Um, you can say, what is the emotion on that girl's face? Why does she have school spirit? How is she embodying that school spirit? Or what is the rooster saying? Or where is that plane going? Um, so as students are kind of recreating these um, these covers, you can engage them and hopefully pique their curiosity in the book itself above and beyond the activity. Similarly, you could get students into groups of four if you want to lean into time for collaboration. You could have them choose a resource, in this case from the kids tab, and have them design a promotional flyer for that resource. 
Moving now into auditory ideas for Library Now Brain Breaks. Um, both of these are utilizing our free music platform, Freegal. So similarly, they can go to Library Now, um, log in to Freegal using their Library Now login conventions. They can select genres, world, and find a song in a different language to share with a, a classmate. So encouraging them to broaden their, their definition or their understanding of their musical tastes and um, empowering them to choose something that they really like to share. Similarly, if you are in Hispanic Heritage Month, you can prompt students to go to Free Goal and find a song by a Latina artist that then they can share um, with their peers and be excited about. And last but not least, perhaps my most my um, personal favorite is our movement-based library now plug and plays. Um, very similar to the visual, but empowering them, emboldening them in their bodies. You can have students get into groups of four or do this individually, all of these are customizable. They can go to Library Now and Overdrive or Hoopla, which is our second digital collection. They can find a book cover to recreate and do it in one or both ways. They could do option one, standing still, or option two, acting out the book cover and then talking about it with their, their peers. And another fun, um, embodied way of thinking about library now resources to make something tactile that that exists fundamentally in a digital space on a screen in a 2d manifestation is to have students pair up or working groups choose a library now resource and working as a team create a trailer for the resource to act out in front of the class um, you could also make this like trivia or like charades you could have students act out the resource and then have their peers guess what the resource is hoping that all of these are really going to be gateways to remembering library now or remembering um, platforms like BrainFuse. How do you help a student visualize a resource and associate that with tutoring, for instance? And there is so, so much more. So once again, all of our resources um, have fed into these templates and these ways of engaging students and helping them have fun in their own exploration and, and building out that, that knowledge of what each resource has to offer. So we hope that you as educators will also do your research into um, other Library Now resources and what they have to offer. We know that you know your students and your communities the best, so we really want Library Now to have a really salient value proposition for you in your classroom and in the lives of your students inside and outside the classroom. So if we can ever be collaborators in that, or you ever have questions about how you can harness resources to help enact your vision, we are certainly here to help. Without further ado, um, we are going to conclude the recording and open up the Q&A portion, but thank you so much for being here and please stick around um, and see you next time.